Whoa. That's your third eye point, yin tong. So today is my one rest day for the entire week. I'm working out six days a week these days. Um, and a rest day doesn't mean that you can't move your body on that day. It just means you're not doing like intense, strenuous weight training. So I'm gonna start out my day swimming in the pool for like 10 or 20 minutes. So the reason I'm wearing this shirt is because I'm paranoid now because I got sunburned so bad last week and I don't want it to happen again. So I'm going to get acupuncture today for the first time ever. Never really done it. I've done that dry needling stuff, which you can see in my first vlog, I guess, 10 weeks ago. Um, but yeah, my shoulder is still flaring up once in a while and having some pain, so my mom goes to this acupuncturist, thought I'd try it out. Um, and other than that, keeping it chill. It's a rest day. All right, time to go make some food. So usually I'm just a fruit guy, only fruit in the morning, but I decided to be festive today. I bought this puffed Kenmut cereal um, that I saw at the grocery store and cutting up some strawberries, made a little Vega protein almond milk kind of thing, and I'm gonna have some cereal for breakfast. Driving over to my first acupuncture session. Here's our flame. Uh -huh. Here's our cups. So you basically swish it around in there, it removes the oxygen, creates the vacuum. Really? Yes. It's very, very purple. Healing. Well, I'm really living the life of an LA health conscious dude right now, just in my acupuncture and cupping session, which was so awesome and amazing. Uh, I have these huge black marks on my back that I'll show you later from the cupping stuff. Uh, it was intense. So I just parked my car and at the corner of my eye, I just found some wacky variety of a banana tree on Wilshire Boulevard in Santa Monica. That is crazy. So as you know, I've been a little bit obsessed with fitness and my calories, caloric intake, and really having a very scientific approach to this idea of burning fat or gaining muscle. And one thing I've been struggling with is knowing how many calories that I burn during a weight training session because it's so variable depending on the intensity and the volume that you're doing that you can't really rely on just like online calculators. So I'm on a hunt now to find a heart rate monitor that you can wear during any physical exercise, whether it's weight training or running, and it pretty much calculates exactly how many calories you're burning. Um, so I'm going to try to find one of those to buy. So I was honestly just in that store for a total of two or three minutes because the first thing they had in their store was exactly what I wanted. Got an interesting little snack right here just put together. Grapes, celery, and some tofu. Holy shit. I am not kidding you. I just opened this up and it was empty. 
Meaning like someone freaking stole it before I bought it. Holy crap. I'm taking it back to the store. All right, I got my new one. They gave me a fresh one with an actual product. And let's check it out. All right, I'm just figuring out this thingy, but I'm gonna show you guys. So this cupping thing she did, as you saw in the time lapse, look at my back afterwards. She said this is what happens to everyone, this isn't a bad reaction, they don't hurt, they're not bruises, but she says it's the toxins coming out. But look at my back. Isn't that insane? Time to walk Buckley with my mama. Come on Buckley, you ready to go? Come on. Check out those dates up there. It literally looks like maybe 30 pounds of dates. Check out these clouds. I'm used to this in Colorado, but not in LA. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get um, from people is how do you get your friends and family to like honor your vegan diet and appreciate it and not give you crap about it? And the answer is so simple to me. Always the number one thing to do is make incredibly tasty food for your friends and family. So I have some time right now and I'm gonna make for myself and my family a bunch of vegan brand muffins um, the recipe in detail to this is a video I made in the description below. All right, the muffins have come out of the oven. My taste tester is? Mom. My mother. All right, let's do it. They're warm. Pick your favorite. This one looks really good. I really like muffin tops, not the whole thing. They're really good. Crispy, not too dry. They're simple. They're Just simple. brand. Sweet, not too sweet. Raisin but a brand. Sweet. The sweetener is applesauce. It's really good. All right, starting off dinner with an awesome salad here with some nori. And I made a little Dijon chia lime dressing. Well, all right, you guys, another relaxing day in the bag for me on the vlog. The vlog is cool. It's kind of like a video diary of my life. I'm picking out some tea right now. I've been really enjoying this tea at night. It's called Throat Coat. Not that I have like a throat, a sore throat or anything. It just tastes really good and I like it. Um, lemon Echinacea. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some of that right now. The next vlog that you guys see that I'll post is gonna be of the Fruit Luck, so if you wanna be in that vlog, come to that Fruit Luck, it's on August 8th. All the information, just go on the Izzy That Fruit Bat Facebook page and it's all there. It's on August 8th, starts at noon in Santa Monica by the beach. Hope to see you there. Much love, Dream Extreme, see you next time.